Hey, what's up guys? It's Monique here and welcome back to my channel. And today is the day I'm finally taking out my box braids. I've had my braids in for about, what day is it? A little over a month. I should have taken them out probably two weeks ago, but I did not. So today I'm going to take them out. I just did not want to take them out. I feel like it's going to take about two hours. It's currently for it's five o'clock p.m. so we i'll time it and see how long it takes to take my hair out i'll start the stopwatch once i start but i'll take my hair out and kind of show you guys what i'm working with so from a distance they don't look that bad but when you get up close and see all the hair coming out My braids are extremely loose, but yes, it's time for them to go. So I have my scissors here. I'm not quite sure where my hair stops. I'm scared I'm gonna, I'm scared I'm gonna cut my hair. Okay, I don't know how many braids I have either. I should count. Let's try to part it down the middle. I'll count each side. so many youtube videos people taking down their braids and they have like 40 50 braids what did i say 86 86 braids that's ridiculous i have my scissors i went and bought these combs today i want to use these two these ends to like help pick through the braids oh my gosh i hope i don't cut my hair let's just let's cut down here first i wish i had like nails or something to help pick these out but the comb will do okay so I think my hair actually started about here I think this is my hair so I guess I could have cut up further Oh wait, I didn't start my timer. Okay, I'll start it now. It's 5.06. One braid is done. Okay, so my camera died before, wasn't prepared. I've taken out quite a few braids in the back, but I still have a ton left to do. So I started with the one in the front and then I moved to the back because I thought it'd be easier that way, not having the hair all like sticking up in front of my head. Um, I haven't lost a ton of hair so far, but I feel like a lot of it comes out like when I pull each braid. I'll show you guys kind of the, the little, little hair ball that came out. So this much has come out of this hair. I will say it's very hard to like cut my hair because I think I'm cutting in the right place and then at some places my hair stops here because I have so many layers so it's just like I try to cut down a little bit lower so I don't cut my hair but it's kind of just like I wish I kind of knew where it stopped. What do you do? This is definitely going to take more than two hours though. And sorry if the lighting changed. It's getting like later obviously and the sun's 
going away. It's kind of cloudy today, so I'm sure it's a little bit different than when I first started. I might stop filming for a while and have Michael help. I don't know if he's going to want to, but I'll ask because this is taking way too long. <laughs> to comb it is to get all of this dead hair out of your head because if you waited all the way until the end you just have like your hair would be so tangled to be such a mess or if you went straight to the shower without taking out all of this hair it would be so so tangled the more you comb the more hair that just keeps coming out I don't know if anybody saw my last video, but that was everything that I wish I would have known before I got box braids. If I'm gonna add something to that, I wish I would have known how long it took to take them out. And I feel like all the YouTube videos I watched didn't prepare me for taking out small box braids. Everybody else had like medium or large box braids. Maybe I was just watching the wrong videos, but everybody's like oh yeah it took two hours two and a half hours i feel like it's going to take me more like four hours if i do this by myself so that's definitely something to add to that list but i didn't want anybody to take that the wrong way either like the last video and think that i don't like having box braids because i definitely did i loved it i think the itchiness just drove me insane um but i've always wanted to do a protect protective style and i don't know i know i would get braids again but i I think I would try to prepare the hair differently, like doing the apple cider vinegar rinse or I don't know, something prior to braiding my hair to kind of fight against the itch. But surprisingly, my hair is extremely soft. Like my hair has never felt, well, I shouldn't say never. My hair hasn't felt this soft in a long time. My hair is pretty soft, so I can't say that, I can't say that, but I thought that it was going to be a dry mess after having braids because, you know, I haven't like deep condition my hair in a month or anything like that, but it's extremely soft and very surprised. Oh my goodness, is there a dead cat in there? <laughs> is that a dead cat? Are you gonna help? Help? Do you want to? Not at all. Why? This is going to take me way longer than two hours, I think. It's been... Forty-seven minutes and I'm not even a quarter through my head. <laughs> it's because the braids are so small. Like, this is how much I've done. Do you want to come in? I wish it work. This is as much as I've done. I'm up to 47 minutes. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to help? I don't even know what I'm doing. I would just cut them for you. And then all you have to do is unravel it. Can't they just pull? No. <laughs> hey guys, I am back at a four hour update. Yes, you heard that right. I've been taking out my braids for four hours and I'm only halfway done. Like, let me show you so you guys know I'm not lying. But it has been four hours and I thought this was going to take two hours. I feel like it's going to take about two hours. I started at five, thought I'd get done by seven, be able to like watch a movie, which I have been watching a lot of TV. But um, yeah, this sucks. This absolutely sucks. If you don't want to spend so much time taking out your braids, get bigger braids. Um, but this is what it is so far. 
There's not as much lint in it as I thought there was going to be because everybody always comments about the lint. Not that bad. I'm going to continue to take out these braids in this uncomfortable chair and update you guys shortly. awful this feels like torture like if somebody wants to torture someone for you know doing wrong or they need them to like confess to something and you just want to make them really like anxious and mad and torture them I recommend taking out small box braids not medium not large not jumbo small or micro so michael just went to bed so i'm trying to be quiet but i'm going on five hours like the clock is about to turn i have been so sick of this so i've just been pulling out like random braids which is why you see like hair here hair in the back like i'm just like whichever one goes in my hand and that's one that I pick out. I feel like I'm going crazy. I really expected to be doing this for like two hours. Hey guys, what's up? It is obviously the next day. I look crazy. I just woke up at like 8.45 and started immediately taking down my braids. I went to bed at 1.30 last night. Um, let me just show you. I took a screenshot yesterday. I went to bed at 1.20. You can see the timestamp and I was taking down my braids for 7 hours and 46 minutes. Small box braids, it's no joke. Finished taking them out this morning and I stopped the stopwatch at 8 hours and 31 minutes. So my braids are all completely out. My hair looks like Michael calls me Albert Einstein. This is my hair post braids. This is how much hair was in my head. And this is how much hair came out of my head. All right, I will check in with you guys once my hair is washed and styled. It might not look the best, but I'll give you guys an update. Hey guys, it's a couple of days later. Sorry if it's echoing. I'm in my bathroom and the window's open. So like if you hear a lot of background noise and echo, that's why. But I'm here to show you guys my hair post braids. I am loving the results that I got from my Dipty Do Girls with Curls gel. Can't forget the gel. Somebody came after me in the comments saying that I need to call it gel. And it is gel. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx, I believe. Yeah, I think I got this at TJ Maxx for like, yes, $5.99. This is the cheapest hair product that i know of that works the best not like silicone it is paraben free it's alcohol free but i believe it does have silicone so i don't know i love the results it gives me i thought my hair was going to look crazy after the braids because i need a haircut but actually it's not too bad and i actually don't think i need a haircut yet i can go a couple more months or a month maybe to wait and get it reshaped but i love the results and my sister asked and i got a couple questions like did my hair grow um yes i think my hair did grow from the braids it might be subtle for people who don't like observe my hair every single day but i really do think my hair grew um it was i feel like this whole little part here like i don't know i just feel like my hair was so short but now i don't get a ton of shrinkage so my hair isn't that long but I don't know, I feel like I feel like there is a difference. Okay guys, I'm going to close out the video here, so thank you so much for staying here this long throughout my whole entire video. I know it might have been kind of long, but I just want to like chit chat with you guys and tell you my experience and like tell you my method of taking out the braids. I don't know if it was the right method, but that's what I did. It worked and my hair is still intact. My edges are still intact. And overall, I really loved having braids, but I'm so happy to have my hair back. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye!